Hello, I'm Satolis Noguera Serrano, President of the European Bue Society. And let's talk today and study to kill them. When we are talking about kill them, we are uh, talking about traditional teachings and it's and a specific study, as we have seen in other videos, a specific study on children level, on children graduation, that it's the inner traditions. Then, in this case, we are talking about, in first case, about furika eru, uh, no kill them. Furika eru means to turn back and uh, to turn and look backwards. Then in this case, we are going to arrive to, to read a situation in Kenjutsu on whatever other discipline or subject where we are going to be very close. And in this situation, the opponent in this case will try to turn and cut ourselves. Then the main characteristic for ourselves that we are going to perform this Kyoden it's to uh, be very close uh, from him and cutting always on a diagonal line uh, cut. Then, in this case, we are going to go into this position, for example, from here, he is going to attack me in a makogiri. From this, we are going to arrive to this position, and from here, we are going to enter both of ourselves into a uh, close quarter situation from here, going upwards, in order to stay in this position, both of ourselves. From this situation, he will turn over myself to this position. If we are going far from, from him, we will, be, uh, we will be capable to cut, but he will be also capable to step back and go away from this situation. And we are, in this case, in a no advantage situation. And for gaining the advantage, in the same way, when we are here, Let's go to the final situation, right here. When he's turning, I continue turning in the same, uh, the same line that we are turning. And from here, only taking control with my blade, with the edge of my blade, we will be capable of cutting in this situation, or cutting in this situation, like this. It's to say, what we are going is to turn, and look backwards when he is one more time in a normal speed from here we are going up and when he is turning to have control of cutting we have to take care and don't perform makugiri it's to say a downward cut because in downward cuts he will be able when we are trying to cut of taking out his hand and in this case he will avoid this kyoben then the second Kyoden that we are going to, to study today, the final one, it's uh, Okuyama no Kyoden. When we are talking about Okuyama, Oku means the depths, and Yama means the mountain. Then we are going into the depths of the mountain. The idea of this uh, Kyoden is to go into a very close situation, close to the opponent, in order to have uh, broken completely all his distance, all his uh, control distance. Then, in this case, after uh, we has uh, arrived and reached his his area of control, we will push him. And after that, uh, when he's wanting to regain a situation, we will go deeper and deeper into his position. Then he will be the mountain, and we will be the ones who are entering to the depths of the mountain. Then, in this case. When we are here, he could try to attack in any situation because we have to remember that uh, kill them, it's a method. It's not a specific technique. Independently that it's classical teachings uh, and the traditions, uh, and they have been uh, explained and, uh, and led by uh, specific, specific uh, sequences, we could apply to every subject. In this case, we will be applying into Kenjutsu uh, techniques. Then, he will be attacking me, for example, in a Makogiri. From here, I will apply a Mine Uchi. And from here, I will have my opportunity to go deeper inside his position, going to this situation. Many people have the mistake to be in this situation. 
And this is uh, a mistake, as I have said, because he could cut my legs into this situation. Then we won't have any kind of advantage uh, in this situation. Then from here, one more time, he's attacking myself in Makugiri, taking apart from my, with my mini here, and here entering to this position. From here, as I have explained before, I will push him from this, I push and take control with my Kamae, Sega no Kamae. I give him conditions to regain a little, for example, to perform a Yoman. And from here, when he, he thinks he's capable to regain a situation, I will enter deeper with a Tsuki, for example, here or here. Then, what we have performed is firstly to enter deep and when he tries to regain the situation after the, the, the melee, we are going deeper with Atsuki. Then, one more time, please, last one. He could perform right now, for example, Atsuki uh, with an example how we can differ this kind of situation. Then, for example, from here, entering to this situation, Pushing him, and when he is here, I enter deeper. From here, he could cut if we if we agree with that. Then we have seen two kiden. The first one it's called furi uh, kaeru no kyoden, and the second one it's called okuyama no kyoden. Thank you very much.